If you're planning to use Backstage and build your own developer portal from scratch, then create choice, but you need to stop. Check out these five reasons why you should consider a vendor managed IDP. You're going to need a powerful orchestrator. The scaffolder backend that comes with Backstage is great to begin with, but poses a number of challenges as you scale it. Power Backstage users continue to use their CI-CD orchestrators, which leads to a broken user experience for your developers. You need an orchestrator which can handle the complexity and scale, but also provide a self-service experience for your developers. And as DevOps engineers, you should have a wonderful time creating those pipelines. You need service scorecards, one of the key pillars of a modern developer portal. While your catalog is the source of truth of your applications, you have no idea whether it is up to date or how useful that data is. You need ways to track application health, service maturity, ongoing code migrations, and many other things which should be possible by using a scorecarding tool on top of your catalog. Number three, while governance aspects may sound boring to you, they are inevitable. You need access control, you need policy enforcement, and you need ways to ensure that things are being done with the guardrails that your organization has set up for you. Any advanced configuration in Backstage requires Node.js and TypeScript expertise. Your DevOps engineers may not be the best TypeScript programmers due to lack of web development experience. This might slow down your ability to move fast and meet your developers' needs. Go ahead and take a look at Backstage release notes. You will have a hard time understanding all the upgrades and migrations happening in Backstage constantly. You want to focus your time and effort in solving your developers' problems rather than learning how to maintain Backstage. Leave that to the vendors and the core Backstage community.